Today is Malasti, one of the biggest Hindu ceremonies on the Balinese calendar. And what is Malasti, you may wonder, it is a purification ritual. So the people of Bali come down to the beach and they purify themselves and the objects found in the temples in their respective villages. Um, but one of the biggest days of the year and it is absolutely cooking here. I don't know what the temperature is right now but it's humid as fuck and I can already feel my skin burning. I've been out since 6.30 a.m. this morning uh, shooting the, the rituals. I had no idea that so many people would be at the beach this morning uh, so I didn't actually unfortunately invite Harry but in about five to ten minutes time we're gonna be meeting our friend Putu who's from Brower village and him and the the people of his of his village are gonna be coming to the beach in a in a procession or a, a long line of people walking along the beach with all the artifacts uh, from the temple so that's where we're going to kick things off and i don't really know where the rest of the shoot is going to take us i have a feeling we might shoot a little bit here in Batu belong and then move westwards up the coast we'll go to changu Preranan, and sese that's the plan don't really know how it's going to go though kind of depends on what's happening around us but I'm very much looking forward to this shoot. It's one of my favorite things to shoot in Bali. Okay, so up next we're diving into a really special and quite bizarre part of the Malasi ceremony. So imagine this, one moment the procession is heading up the beach, you're surrounded by the calming sounds of gamelan music and the air is very thick with the smell of incense. Uh, however, just a few moments later, uh, some of those very same people who were walking up the beach joyfully just a few moments ago embark on a journey beyond the physical realm. Right, so that just about does it for this uh, Malasti ceremony shoot that I did. And if I'm being quite honest with you, it was a complete fail compared to when I shot it in 2023. And there's actually a number of reasons for that. First off, I think it was my 10th or 11th, 11th day of shooting. I can't quite remember, but I'd, I've been shooting for well over a week, you know, up at sunrise every day and pretty much staying out all day long with my camera. And so, I think by that point, I was pretty cooked. Not only that, but I was out on that 11th day shooting Melasti from 6.30 a.m. all the way through basically until the sun set. And so I have to imagine my head was a little bit fried uh, by that point. But that's, they're not the only reasons why I think it was a kind of a complete fuck up on my part. Um, 
There were also so many photographers compared to 2023. When I showed it last year, there may have been four or five other photographers and because there's so much going on in this one small, well, relatively small place, but there's so much going on. There's so many people falling into a trance. There's, there's so many different things happening in, di in different places that often I could find a scene all for myself. But on this occasion, uh, you know, I'd wait for somebody to fall into a trance or you'd hear them kind of screaming in the distance and so you'd make your way over there thinking that you'd be the only guy shooting it. Um, I'd look into my viewfinder, five seconds later you've got 20 people around you, someone's telephoto lens at one point bashed into my head and I kind of just lost it at that point. I think I even said to Harry at one point, I said, oh fuck this, so I'm so over this, you know, like I, when I go out to shoot something I don't want to get the same pictures as everybody else and it felt like I was just... I don't know, it felt like it was almost this cookie cutter photo experience. And so, yeah, I just wasn't too interested in that. And the other reason that it kind of sucked was because the light was just terrible. Um, it was completely overcast. And, you know, as we progressed a little bit later into the afternoon, three or four o'clock, where last year it was super bright, we had the sun out, a lot of kind of light and shadows, definition in people's faces and, and things like that. And I could easily have a higher shutter speed while also having a a higher aperture. Um, I wasn't able to do that this year. It was super cloudy, really thick storm clouds over and above us. And not only that, where I was tired and had had a really long 11 days and it was dark and shitty light, um, I think I also still had my polarizer on my lens, which of course made it even more difficult to achieve a higher shutter speed with that, uh, I guess, greater like depth of field in these scenes, so yeah. Yeah, for being honest, it was a bit of a fuck up, but I'm looking forward to taking those lessons, uh, not only into my next shoot, but more importantly, I think into the Molassi shoot next year, where I have to imagine I'm probably gonna be visiting, or at least trying to visit a beach that is a lot quieter uh, than Bati Belong in Changku. Anyway, that's enough of me bitching and complaining uh, about this year's Molassi shoot. I think it was still a, a good experience and there are plenty of lessons that I can take forward uh, from that day. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I think with that, I'm gonna leave you at the end of this video to enjoy some of the photos that I think were a lot better from last year. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment and I will see you in the next one.